Hello everyone, this tutorial is about how to book a railway ticket using ISCTC website. Now it is very convenient to, to, to book a railway ticket. You need not to go to the railway station or stand in a long queue. You can book the railway ticket by sitting at home. So let's see the step by step process how to book a railway ticket using ISCTC website. So the first step is open up a browser and go to ISCTC link which is ISCTC.co.in so you land up into this page in this page you can fill your username here and your password here and do login to the uh, website to book the railway ticket or if you do not have a username and a password please do sign up using this link and you can book a railway ticket after that just remember that while signing up you should provide all the valid information so that your profile doesn't get deactivated after some time now we have provided the login ID and password and logged into the uh, logged into the website to book the ticket. Y you will see the interface just like this. You have a booking history here. You have a print ticket here. You have a cancellation list here. Uh, and there are other facilities like if you cancel your ticket, you should get a refund. The status will be here. And uh, for Suviatra, it is a new facility. And this is about the TDR. I'm not very familiar with it. Uh, so let's see how to book a ticket so here from the from list you need to type in the station name from where you want to start your journey let's say I want to travel from Bangalore to uh, Chennai so what I will type is Bangalore so once you type some words actually it will give you a suggestion that which station you want to just like that here you can see that is popped up the list so let's say I want to choose Bangalore city junction from there I want to travel till Chennai so I know the code of Chennai which is MAS so I just typed in so you can see that Chennai Central has come up with MAS it is just a, a matter of time you will come to know that what is the code of the station where you are traveling so let's choose the station so my from is Bangalore and 2 is Chennai and now I want to choose the date when I want to travel let's say I want to travel on 25th of May so I choose the date of 25th of May here you have an option of e-ticket and i-ticket what is e-ticket e-ticket is a ticket that you get as an electronic ticket that you can take a printout of the booked history and travel i-ticket is a physical ticket the ticket that you actually get while you go and book it in the railway station the physical ticket you will get so e-ticket you can just book it and take a print and travel i-ticket is like you book it prior to some days I guess it is prior to three days you need to book so that your booked physical ticket can reach you through the courier I'll always prefer a e-ticket because you can just book it take a print and travel and remember always that whenever you are booking a e-ticket and traveling just carry your ID proof either a PAN card or a driving license or a voter ID uh, and there are some other documents as well that can be used as an identity proof always carry that we have preferred to book a e-ticket so I have chosen e-ticket and here comes the quota field where you can either choose general, tatkal or ladies uh, general is like anybody can travel and tatkal is like you want to book a tatkal ticket now tatkal can be booked just one day prior so for 25th I can book a tatkal on 24th so 24th morning I can try for a tatkal to travel on the 25th and this is for the ladies quota so let's take general quota and click on the link find trains so here you will find the list of the trains which is available from Bangalore to Chennai on 25th. You can see all the classes are been seen here. What is available in that train and what is not available. For example, let's say Satabdi Express. In Satabdi, first class AC is available and chair car is available. Only these two classes are available. Let's see the availability and book the tickets. Let's click what you want to travel in which class. Let's say I want to travel in uh, chair car. So once you click on the list, you will find the train details here and availability here. The website is sometimes very slow because of more traffic, normally in morning and evening times. So it takes some time to load up. Just wait for some time. Now you find that uh, the train details is, this train goes from Bangalore to Chennai Central and the date and the days when it runs and the train number as well. And on this side, you find the what is the availability status in the train 
okay so here that is that i think that seats are not available that's why it's showing waiting list class available it is like not available here as you see on uh, date 28 the seats are available the seats are not available and the waiting list is 10 so let's check another train where seats are available so that we can book it so here we are seeing what is the availability status so here you see that on 25th the waiting list is uh, 114 and on 8th the seats are available let's say i want to book the whenever it is available for an example i click on the link book so once i click on the link it will load up the page where i need to fill the details and here you see that it says that the from station that you have selected doesn't exist in the route of the train of this station why do it show this because if you go down you can see that whole route of the train and you can see that the train goes through Yasbanpur railway station and Banaswadi and Krishna Rajapuram actually the train doesn't go through Bangalore city railway station that's why it says this so that means it gives me a train list which goes through Bangalore so may not be through city railway station so let's choose that I want to start from Yasbanpur railway station so now it again finds the availability which is actually 4 you can click on availability then now it gives me an option to enter the name of the person who want to travel so let's say name is Malay age is 29 male you can choose your birth reference let's say I choose side upper then you can click on this consider for auto upgradation when you consider for auto upgradation you have clicked that means if you are on the waiting list then your auto upgradation might happen to a higher class as well let's say you have booked a ticket in slipper but when uh, there are a lot of seats which is cancelled in the three tier AC so you can get auto upgraded to three tier AC itself and that will be of no cost so after this you need to fill the detail here whatever the text you can see here on the web, I can see W4375 2Y and then you can go down and say go. Let's wait for some time. Now you can see that my reservation details have been come the train name, the class that I want to travel, the date, from station to station, the train number the boarding point and reservation up to what and the quota and here also you can see what I have chosen the name of the person the age and uh, birth preference everything has been chosen and here you can see how much fare you need to pay actually if you go and book it in the railway station it will cost you 173 rupees since you are booking at sitting at home so the extra cost is 10 rupees which is a service charge so total amount builds up to 183 and your availability quota is 4 now that means 4 tickets are available. Now click on link make a payment. Let's wait for some time. So once make a payment page comes up, you can see that you can pay through credit card, through net banking, through debit card, through cash card, through EMI options. There are multiple options through which you can pay. Let's say I am taking an example of net banking and I choose ICICI bank. Just choose it and wait for some time. What we see here, it it's gets migrated to the payment page of ICICI Bank. So you can enter your user ID and password and make a payment. So in our case, I am not going to make a payment because I don't want to book the ticket. Once you make a payment, wait for some time, it will automatically redirect you to the IRCTC page and your tickets will be booked. After your tickets are booked, come to the home page, click on booking history. Once you click on the booking history, it will ask you to re-enter your password. Re-enter your password. Say go. Let's wait for some time. It will just load up. So now it will show the history that you have booked. Whichever ticket you want to take a print, click on that and click on print ticket so that you can get the ticket printed. Carry the ticket with you along with the ID proof and that's it. You book the ticket. Hope this tutorial helps you people. Do not forget to log in to sameissue.blogspot.com to check some more useful tutorials like this. Goodbye.